Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome back to another episode of Gone Home. Um, since it's been a couple of days of me actually been uh, since playing this, I've come to the conclusion I think what we're actually supposed to do in this game is, um, you know, we're obviously a girl, and we've come back from holiday or something like that, or vacation, whatever you want to call it, and uh, the whole house is empty, right? Everyone's missing, and I'm guessing you've got to figure out. Um, why exactly is no one there? Not like, where has everyone gone? And I think that's what the sort of thing you got to figure out what happened since you've been away. And this is what we got to sort of figure out. And uh, so yeah, I'm just trying, gonna try and not be as afraid in this episode as I normally am. So I'm gonna re-rate more stuff and try and get more into the story. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Because at the moment, we just don't know. So, uh, some... Some saver stumps right here. What's this there? Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Well, what's missing? I want to find out what's missing now. Open the drawers. Nothing in there. A little dildo in there. Aha. Hi Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home. You're home to... Blah, 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 blah. Right back and leave this in my locker if you can. Still want to and we can meet in the parking lot. Yeah, that sounds like thunder. I like the uh, Hadouken at the end there. Ooh. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask so for it a, a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. So journals. We've got three journals. I don't know how many you're supposed to collect, but uh, three journals. Okay. Okay, that's locked. So this piece of paper says, What have you found? Don't tell Mom and Dad. And that's the attic. I'm guessing that's a scrap of this letter. Okay, so there's clearly something in the attic. We've got to find out what's what's missing. So we do have to go upstairs. Is there a light in here? A light. Light. There we go. Nothing in. Anything in here? Right. We can't, um, no. Another letter? What's this? Okay. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that, unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish the follow-up to The Accident of Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accident of Saviour, we, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have been, in fact, been lower than those of the first, so... Our stewardship of the series must end there. It has been a pleasure working you as the publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavours. Yeah, it sounds like a WWE sacking, to be honest. You've been fired! We wish you best in your future endeavours. Yours sincerely, WWE. It's the vodka bottle from Hitman. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else in here? Record player, oh, can we play record? Somehow I always knew that someday we see through. Now that it's happened, I just can't believe the truth. That's really. I've done the best. That's really creepy. <laughs> okay, we'll get here. Reproductive system works. Oh, okay. Um. 
Okay, there's a lot of stuff to read here. Okay, something to do with the reproductive system. Wait, how can you have to... I'm still hearing movements upstairs. The noise is right there. I don't like it. Can we... No. Okay. World history book. Lights are always good. Don't need that. Newspaper, pen. Uh, okay, let's move on. We can't get that door down there, so clearly we're going to need some sort of key. But, uh, okay. Whew, I think the time has come for us to head our way up to the, um, to the attic. Whew, so let's do it. What, are we going over there? This door was locked, wasn't it? I think. What about these drawers? Oh, okay. I, oh, I can't read that. I'm sorry, but... What the f... What kind of writing is that? It's good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little... Don't know what that says. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, it was locked. So we're going to have to get some... I don't know where the key is or something. Maybe it's upstairs. Whew, so here we go. Please no jump scares. I just don't like it. Control burn schedule for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Bloom County over the better part of next week as part of the Forestry Service run control burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Okay. Forestry crews have been preparing for the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8am and 5pm on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and possibly Thursday depending on the speed of progress according to the Forestry Service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires and dry months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting mm. firefighting personnel involved with the senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Who is Janice Greenbrier? I'm guessing it's the mother. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. Okay. Weekly partner. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> I cannot read in that. I can't read that at all. It's like Monday. Uh. Couples bowling? I think. Cooking class, take apron, ballroom dancing, couples. Okay. Is there another page? No. Uh, comb your hair. Don't need that. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger in expertise. Blah, blah, blah. Bruce Pendleton. Hey, okay, nothing else over here. Nope. Oh, what's that noise? It's <laughs> fucking creepy. Uh, caution, radiation area, keep out. Is that just a, is that a door sign or is it just, what's this? Stop leaving every damn light under the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Sorry. Ooh! Oh my fucking god. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, man? Fuck you! Whatever that noise was. Damn 
Daniel called again and he wants his Nintendo game back. To whom am I concerned? I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old. Therefore, an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you should, you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you're all allowed to go. So I'm guessing my name's Katie. Obviously not, not me, but uh, I'm guessing the character's name is Katie and she's 20. Just want to spend an hour. Okay. It's got very bad writing. If she's 17 and that's got that. Oh, that's what the noise was. Oh. Just mute the phone there. Just uh, close that door. Ooh, a cassette tape. What's this? Ba Bratmobile. Cool. Cool schmool. Okay, can we put it in? Yes, we can. Uh, That's enough of that. <laughs> What's this? Adventure cat? Oh, it's like a Nintendo game. Look at this. Oh. Do you remember when you used to get dust in there? You had to blow it. Just to get it to work. What's this? It's like one of those eye things. Those little... You stare at it. You make an image. 3D image kind of thing. Yeah. I think that's what it is. You've got to get really close to the screen and sort of like pull your head away and you'll get a 3D image. I don't know what that is. I might even try. <sighs> what else we got in here? A locker. Uh, we don't know the code for that. Got a light, please. Thank you. Got your number. What, couldn't it have just been Scrabble or something? Or Monopoly? Ooh, another note. Chapter two. Oh, Captain Allegra. Oh, that's the um, the story that I read from downstairs. She must have typed it up. Some kind of pirate story. Ah. Holy Bible, really? Anything else? Any like keys or something? Oh, the music started back up again. What the hell is that? Why? Grab Steggy. Steggy? So Stegosaurus! AIDS in Africa. Oh, that's an exclusive. Exclusive to who? The whole world knows. Uh, that's funny. A brush. What the fuck was that noise? I heard breathing. Seriously, I heard breathing noise. I went... <sighs> Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in the first period and left it on your locker on the way to second. Okay, that makes sense. It's what we all. It's what... Stop making weird noises, man. <sighs> it's what all the cool kids are doing. Lo I've decided. Write me back. This is just terrible. Terrible writing. I know it's Charles writing, but still. There's a, there's a cat with a with a bike. And it's got a cat in the back as well, so that's pretty cool. 
I, I can't read that. I can't read that. It's just terrible writing. If you guys can read it, then go ahead and port. Wait. Oh, I was going to say, I thought there was a key code there. 90210, but it's a TV show. If you guys want to read it, then just pause the video and go ahead and read that. But I can't read it, so let's carry on. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. something. 1995. So that, is that what year this is then? A plate. A glass. A pointless folder. Oh, a nail file. <coughs> so it's clearly a, a girl's room then. Nailed it! A lot of soda in here. Charles Dickens, Jane Austen, okay, quite educated, except she can't spell. Okay, these noises, seriously. I'm starting to get used to it. Where are we now? Are we? Oh, it's the same, it's the same corridor. Oh, okay. So, what's this then? Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and told... And Todd wouldn't shut up about it. So, either it's good or we we make fun of him for liking it. No, it's a terrible, a terrible film. <laughs> it's only one of the best films of all time. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight and... Uh, ditch them for me. Isn't it... Am I going to bath? I like the burger at the end there, at the bottom. It's just like being sick. Uh. Ah! What the fuck was that? Stop it, man. Stop fucking with me. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Oh, it's just, what's this? Damn it! Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't what? know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? No. It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. Guess I waited. So. And the moment was gone. What is this? Oh, it is tampon. So where's this mirror that she's talking about? There's no mirror in here. Lonnie rules, that's quite nice. Okay, we've had enough of this room, moving on. Still ain't found any keys. Okay, this doesn't look good. Oh. Okay, I'm certain now that's 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 thunder. It just sounds look really creepy. Okay. Still some socks in there, still some underwear in there. Lack of dildo tells me they've taken it with them. Wait, what is that? Ah, condom! Can you go in it? Can you inside? No. No. Don't want that. Can we put that in there? Eh. Can you? Damn it! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Let's close that door. Phone. Oh, it's under here. Uh... 
All videos, all the presents, men, don't know that one. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the Fugitive, okay. I can't read them. Silence of the Lamb, Bridge in the Wizard of Choir, okay. So why were they going through those drawers and didn't actually take many clothes? Oh. Was that me? I'm not sure now. Caitlin, five years old. That's cute. Okay. Oh, another letter. Okay. Oh, I can't read that. Let me tell you I understand how you feel something. I don't know. Something to do with periods. I don't know. How many of you guys heard that? It's like breathing. Take your time, I had. Okay. Who the hell's Rick? Oh no! Don't want to turn that off. No. What the hell? I was about to say oh, it's an ensuite, but there's no toilet in here. It's just two sinks and no mirrors. Another comb. Doors you can't open. Oh, here it is. Toilet paper. Oh, candles. I was going to say, what the hell are they? Rediscovering your spouse, personally, spiritually, and sexually. Okay. This guy lost his spark. I'm still hearing those friggin' noises from upstairs. Okay, I think we've been everywhere, haven't we? I only found no keys. I don't know where they are. Oh, that's not creepy at all, is it? There's red lights around the the, uh, the attic. Oh my god. Okay, there's another note. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. Use my room if you want. Oh, what is that? Stop it. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay, so where's Sam gone then? Oh, cool. Nice paintings. So why did she stick it underneath that door for then? That doesn't even make sense. Is there anything in here? Ghost channel. Oh no! Go away! Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. 
when I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? A faint voice on the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate. Poured milk from... That's really creepy. It's like a ghost diary. Oh, it's all my stuff. Alright. I guess... Uh, hmm. Performance evaluation. Oh, there's another tape recorder thingy. Is there a tape running? What was that? Can we read it? Yes. Halloween show, The Misfits. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt <gasps> tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Okay, now we can put the uh, thing in here. Please don't be scary. Oh, scary. Stop. It's horrible. What's oh, a sewing machine? Can we play with it? No. Uh. Ah! What the fuck is that, man? St <laughs> Stop playing with me. What? Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I just noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. What? And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. What? Library. Closet. Oh, is this, this is a room in the back of the closet. Okay, we're going back there. We're not going in the attic just yet. What was that? Amore? Oh, that's cool. That's quite nice drawing, actually. It's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Okay. Now, do we go in the attic? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Uh. 
Okay, I won't. <laughs> Let's go and uh, investigate this room again. So there's... Oh! Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Hidden compartments found. Evidence in the three supernaturals discovered. Library, foyer, and in my room. Oh, I like this now. It's like a little treasure. Treasure hunt thingy. Not keep that on. Right, where, where are we? Where am I? It doesn't tell you where you are on the map. We've already been here. So... Is there any more secrety secret panels? Huh? Ah! Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. Have you seen this? O four five one. That's the key code from the Deus Ex. I'm telling you, Deus Ex Human Revolution. That's the key code in that. Have we even been in this room? I'm sure we have. Didn't notice that before. O four five one, and now that could be the locker room. Stop creaking. That could be the locker room thing. Where's the locker? Um. Wait a minute. Are we, are we downstairs now? I think those secret panels we can get into the unlocked rooms. Now oh, where's how do we go upstairs again? Do we have to literally go back upstairs? Let's go through the library. That sounded like thunder. So I'm not gonna be scared. Whew, let's brave this, come on. There's a panel here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh no, it's a Ouija board. No. Hello. Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come to come be a? Turn left to open. Turn the first number. What? So what was the number? Oh four five one. Oh four five one. Huh? I did. Okay, what other combinations have we seen anywhere? Oh, 
god, we're gonna have to go in the attic. I don't wanna go. If anyone's played this game, can you please tell me what to do next? I'm completely stumped. I don't want to go in the attic. Uh, so we're just going to leave it there for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you liked. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.